welcome to the A List. I'm Michael Froshauer, and with me today is Justin Roman. You might know him from the Styles and Roman Show on Chicago's hit music channel B96, and also as a member of the Jump Smokers. Justin, welcome to the show. Hey, what's up, man? Thanks for having me. No problem. So, uh, before working at B96, was CBS having many radio stations? Yes. Uh, what made you go in working for B96? Was it for the hits and hip hop feel, or? Well, they asked me actually. I mean, it wasn't even like I chose. It was like they asked me to to be part of B96, which is really cool because I actually grew up in Chicago. Chicago, born and raised here in Chicago. I right. uh, grew up a huge B96 fan. Eddie and Jobo were like my favorite yeah. DJs in the world growing up. So um, if I even had a choice, I wouldn't pick any other station besides B96. And I wouldn't pick any other city besides Chicago. Like I love Chicago. So it's very rare that you kind of grow up in a, in a city and then get to work for your hometown radio station. Yeah. It doesn't happen that way a lot of times. So I know I'm very, very lucky, very fortunate. But um, yeah, I didn't have a choice. But even if I had a choice, it would have been B96 all day. Really? Yeah. I know you mentioned Eddie and Jobo. They used to be the morning radio yeah. host. Right? They, were, they were the morning show when I was a kid growing up here in Chicago, and then I was lucky enough to work with them for about two or three years um, on B96. They were the morning show, and at that time, we were the night show. So it was kind of cool like to actually work with my childhood idols and get to like right. hang out with them and talk with them and actually cross promote our shows together and and to this day still very good friends and they're they're really uh, important mentors uh to me for radio for mm -hmm. sure yeah for sure um how did you know that radio was for you like i didn't you uh you didn't. my story is so weird i i'm a, I'm a singer first musician first and yeah. um had a had a group back in the day here in chicago and what happened was is that with that group um my my songs got played on B96, had a big local following here on B96. Yeah. And um, when I left my group to go solo in my music career, that's when B96 came in and asked me if I uh, wanted to be on the radio. And sure enough, it was a match made in heaven. It was, it was something I never knew I wanted to do in life. But now looking back, it's been the best choice I ever made. And I'm so glad for the opportunity because radio has provided me with such a great, great life. And plus, I mean, growing up here in Chicago, to work for my hometown station and not to be the voice of Chicago is such an honor and such a privilege. And I'm definitely Definitely blessed. Good. Um, so then, in what year did you get hired to work for B96? We started in 2004. We were wow. the night show for two years. And then we got promoted two years later to the afternoon show. And been the afternoon show ever since, man. So uh, I can't even do the math right now. But I think <laughs> this is like our yeah. seventh year uh, as the afternoon show, our ninth year on the radio altogether. So wow. we, we were the rookies, man. Back then, we were the young guns. We were like the, <laughs> yeah. the, the new blood. And now we're the longest running top 40 show in Chicago like yeah. our, our brand name is definitely you know we, we think of ourselves as young 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 which we started so young but you know now we're, we're the veterans of B96 right so how old are you now you're I'd rather not say, you know, no. I'd say in, in, in the 28, 29 <laughs> realm. No, but, you know, it, we, we started very young. So, right, you know, that's what I was going to say. The cool I mean, thing you must is, be... is that even though we've been on the radio for nine years, uh, it's one of those things where it's like we're still young and we're still, you know, uh, in the <laughs> same market as our demo and we're still out yeah. there in the club, still out there exactly. on the streets and relating to people that are in high school and college and, All right. and stuff like that. You know, so thankfully we did start very young. Okay. Um, and well, did Styles, Dougie Styles, did he uh, come along with you in the beginning? Or yeah, he, he. Um, we both interned at B96 way back in the day. Oh, okay. Stayed friends when I left to pursue my music career. Yeah. Uh, did my my touring, my, my group, my solo record, and then when the station came to me and asked to be on the radio, their idea was to partner me up with Dougie Styles because okay. we were such good friends back in the day. Thought the chemistry would be very very good. Exactly. So um, you know, he he was still working in promotions. He was paying his dues to get on the radio. He was hosting the weekend. Show, I believe back then too but our, our, our big boss Todd Cavanaugh and Eric Bradley they had the idea of putting us together to be like the next Eddie and Jobo you know? oh yeah so right. Styles and Roman were kind of like groomed to be the next Eddie and Jobo do you would, would you say you're like about there yet be I mean it's one of those well they were the morning <laughs> show for a long time right in Chicago. of course we I'll tell you what we both love to sleep we both love to go to Cubs games and love to party and stuff like that. So <laughs> we're not ready to do that morning uh, routine exactly. quite yet. So yeah, but at, when it comes to like longevity and yeah. when it comes to um, years on B96, I, I would say we're probably in that same uh, category as Eddie and Jobo. They were on the radio, I want to say, for 20-something years on b right. So we're not oh, quite there. We're not even quite halfway there. But, you know, uh, being the veterans of the station, I want to say, you know, when we, when we were the rookies, we came on to B96, Eddie and Jobo were like the legends, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying we're legendary at all, but we're definitely the veterans and, and and, um, you know, they're, they're definitely our, uh, our goal, you know, to, to have that much success for that, for that long period of time. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, and so, okay, DJ Flipside, I know he's also part of your, like, show, your yep. 5 o'clock hour. Absolutely. Um, when did he get started? And could you have... Flipside, uh, yeah. Flipside at 5 is, is a real, we're very proud of that because, okay, so when we were the night show, you know, nine years ago, 
we had an idea. Our, actually, our bosses were very, very cool to let us like plan our entire show. So right. for the night show, we had an idea at 10 o'clock to do a live mix show. Like, yeah. No one was doing that. We thought it'd be so cool. We had such talented DJs around us, including Flipside, mm -hmm. and they could spin live. They're like great live. So we decided to, to pitch it to our bosses. They loved the idea. So we had a thing called the 10 o'clock mixtape. Right. And that became a live mix show. Actually, the first live mix show in the history of Chicago on the radio. So we're very proud of that because that was our idea. And then when we got promoted from the night show to the afternoon show, we obviously had to bring Flipside with us. So yeah. that's that's what turned into Flipside at 5. Um, but it started back in the day as our night show, a 10 o'clock mixtape with Flipside. And um, yeah, we're very proud of the fact that was the first live mix show. Now you're going to hear stations do it all across the board. Exactly. I'm not going to name those stations, but <laughs> they're all doing it now. But we started it back nine years ago. Well, now before um, before being 96, wasn't there um, 96 now? And there was, uh, I know there's radio stations that they actually had like DJs that performed on the radio they played more like house and the dance mm -hmm. and still top 40 you know whatever was in that era um do you think maybe a flip side and them got influenced to uh do that at, like now get that idea well i don't know what stations you're talking radio? about right now to be honest with you, I, I don't know i never heard of those stations oh, really? but i'm saying like the big stations i'm talking about like big top 40 stations big urban stations yeah uh okay. we absolutely had the first live mix show period um and other stations have since followed that but oh, uh, okay. the ones you're talking about maybe they're smaller i, I haven't heard no of they were before b96 it was um before b96 i can't remember okay that. <laughs> yeah. you're younger than me how do no, you know this you stuff? know yeah i know it's all research <laughs> but um <laughs> we were the first b96 10 o'clock mixtape with Styles and Roman and Flipside uh, nine years ago. That was the first live mix show um, from a, a station that 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 is a in the top 40 right. urban market. Uh, okay. Maybe maybe there's a college station that did it or something like that. Yeah, but of I don't, course. I can't think of any other that did it. Right. Oh before. wow. Yeah. I mean, I know because B96, it's uh, probably what the most popular radio station in Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. So. We're the number one afternoon show right now in Chicago, yeah. and so. um, B96 as a, as a whole has always been, you know, if not number one, maybe for a month it was number two, but like yeah, always been number one. Um, and I'm very proud of the fact that it's always been that way. You know, mm -hmm. other stations come and go, but since I was a little shorty, B96 was still one of the biggest stations out there. And here we are years later. And, you know, I'm a young adult, and, and we're still one of the biggest stations right. in the city. Not just the city, but in the country. Like, exactly. I mean, I, I want to say we have a stat where, like, we're the most listened to station between New York and L.A. Right. Like, period. I mean, so we, we're, we're talking about a legendary station yeah. that I'm very proud to be part of. Right, and with technology, you don't have to be in Chicago to listen Absolutely. on the radio. You can listen online yeah. and stuff. So. We have so many people, actually, that hit us up telling us about the fact that they went away to college. Yeah. And they, they grew up to us and went away to college, but thankfully, they can stream us on B96.com. And, and when I think about that, you know, because I go on tour a lot with my group, and I think about, you know, you get homesick once in a while. Exactly. So yeah. the fact that we could provide, like, a, uh, some sense of home to these kids that go away to school or Maybe families that move away, you know, and they right. can still hear us, and it, it, it reminds them of Chicago, reminds them of being back home where they grew up. That, that feels good. Good, yeah. Um, what would you say to people who want to pursue a career in uh, radio? Like, well, how I, should they get started? I would say, well, again, I'm probably the wrong person to ask because I didn't, <laughs> I didn't go to school for it. I didn't, oh, yeah. uh, I didn't major in radio. I mean, I went to college. I graduated with a music business degree, but um, I didn't go to school for radio. But what I will say, my advice to anybody trying to be in any profession, this is what I tell everybody because you never know where life's going to take you. But I will tell you this, whether you want to be a doctor, a radio personality, a singer, um, uh, whatever you want to be in life, Never give up. You yeah. got to be persistent. You got to keep trying. You got to, if you have a goal and you have a dream, you got to follow it no matter what because there's a thousand people in this world that are going to tell you, no, you can't do it. But all it takes is one yes to change your entire life. Mm -hmm. And I'm living proof of that. So um, I will tell you, no matter what you want to be in life, you just, you, you got to be persistent yeah. and you got to never give up and you got to just keep going. And um, eventually you can get there. Yeah. I know you mentioned um, that you were an intern mm -hmm. at B96. Did yeah. you ever had interns that worked for you? Yeah, absolutely, man. Show? You know, we, uh, yeah. we kind of, uh, we kind of laugh internally about the fact that the, a lot of the people that work at B96 today started as our interns. Oh, yeah. Uh, Showbiz Shelley from The Morning Show, she was our intern for like two years. I mean, yeah. she just kept interning and interning. Yeah. And sure enough, then our boss like loved what she did. We gave her a segment on our show when we're, back when we were The Night Show. Um, we did a thing called, I want to say it was called Shelly Street Talk. <laughs> and it was every Monday night, she would get out on the radio and she would talk about things that were going on in the entertainment business and whatever, whatever. Well, our boss heard that eventually and decided to put her in The Morning Show. And that made her career. I mean, now yeah. she's still in the morning show. She still does the showy SmackDown and right. all those yeah. things. But she started as our intern. She was very, very driven. I'll give her mad credit because I'll never forget she approached me at an event 
she was an intern for promotions and she approached me and she was like listen i, I want to intern for your show mm -hmm. I'm like yeah for sure no problem so she interned for our show well then her internship was up and she wanted to stick around okay like, All right, cool that internship was up she wanted to stick around so it's like she was very persistent she's a perfect example of what i was saying back in the day like you got to be persistent you got to like really really go for it you got to be a go-getter she was definitely that you know so she yeah. she was our intern uh jersey who does jersey, uh, weekends right. and he um does fill-ins uh for people when they're on vacation or when they're yeah. sick or whatever he started as our intern and he went from our intern to being uh to becoming our producer Mm -hmm. And then he had his own show. So um, we've, and I think he's from this area. I want to say if he went, to, I think he went to this school. To be honest with you, really, I think so. What school wow. is this? This is Riverside Brookfield. Uh, no, yeah, I don't know. He went to this school or another <laughs> one that sounds like it. But yeah. he went to school in this area. I know that for a fact. Wow. So um, you know, two people that are very important to B ninety six. They started as Styles and Romans interns. Wow, that's that's great. That's, uh, would, that must be a great way to start too. Yeah. being an intern. Yeah, it's a good way to get your foot in the door. I mean, you know, I, I started as an intern, so did my partner Styles, and and it's one of those things where if you do the right things, if you work hard and you show people that you're driven and you're motivated, then when opportunities come up down the road, they're gonna remember you and they're mm -hmm. gonna think about you. I mean, think about me for a second. Like I, I was, I interned and then I left, but I made a lot of friends when I was interning. I made yeah. a lot of, uh, I left on very good terms with my bosses and everything where then when the night show spot was opening up, they thought of me right. to, to fill that, you know? So uh, internships are such a great way to get your foot in the door and make contacts and really, uh, and really set yourself up for the next chapter of your life. Right. Yeah. Um, now, I know you're uh, a member of the musical group uh, Jump Smokers. Jump Smokers, Could you yeah. explain a little bit about what that is and what <laughs> yeah. genre of music? Jump Smokers is, is an electro-pop group, kind of okay. like LMFAO, uh, right before they hit it really, really big. Like right. we're, we're, we're bubbling. We're the next group for sure. Yeah. Um, you know, we've uh, been together for about four years, had a bunch of... Uh, uh, singles that came out, club records that really, really connected with people in, in the club world, um, have done over a hundred remixes. We've remixed everybody from Rihanna to Britney Spears to Pitbull to uh, Selena Gomez to Jason Derulo, Mariah mm -hmm. Carey, it goes yeah. on and on, Usher. Um, and yeah, that's my group, man. It, it, it's kind of cool. I get to wear two hats. I get to be the radio guy during <laughs> yeah. the day, and then I get to be the uh, electro pop star with Jump Smokers at night. And um, yeah, the, this group's going very well. So were, were you the one to start it? or? It was, yeah, it was my idea, actually. Yeah. Uh, it was about four years ago, LMFAO, I just kind of really hit it big. And, and I thought to myself, you know, I, I've always been a singer and, and, and a pop uh, a pop singer and, right. and a songwriter and everything. So I, I was kind of, I had about two top 40 records that were, that were pretty big. They were love songs, you know. And, yeah. And my third single was about to come out, but the label I was with was really kind of like, just being drama, they were pushing me to the side, pushing mm. me to the side. And you know, I'm persistent, I'm motivated. Exactly. I'm like, oh, yeah. we gotta do something. So I had heard LMFAO doing their thing, and I thought to myself, I'm like, man, I'm like, as a songwriter, I can write these songs. Right. Like, as a singer, I can do these songs, I can, I can rap these songs, I can perform these yeah. songs. And I knew uh, Flipside and a guy by the name of Tony Arzadam, they were in Chicago doing like dance beats. Yeah. And I was like, man, so I had a meeting with them. And then uh, I'm like, I have this idea of like putting this like LMFAO style group together, uh -huh. and like you know we're all from Chicago, the the, the birthplace of house music. Like exactly, this is, this is a good fit for everybody. So um, then we brought in a guy named by the name of Wayne Ward, aka Johnny Digital. Thought it'd be cool if we had a guy kind of behind the scenes making like all the visuals look really really good. Uh -huh. Our internet presence look really good. Our YouTube videos look really good. Yeah. So all four of us kind of came together and uh, and made the Jump Smokers and and. It, it kind of became an overnight success. We had a first single that came out four years ago, back when uh, Chris Brown, unfortunately, when he when he beat Rihanna, right. we came out with a song that was a Chris Brown diss record. Oh, and that yeah. song just blew up overnight. And because of that song, here we are four years later, touring Asia for the fifth time. And yeah. having a, 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 we're the opening act for the new Pitbull Kesha tour this summer. Uh -huh. Like all because of, you know, that song kind of, got people into our beats and into our music and into our remixes and right. now here we are four years later and the best is yet to come. Yeah, uh, I know you just mentioned about uh, your Asia tour and yeah. you actually just got back from that. So. I did two days ago actually, right. yeah. So could you explain a little bit like what, what was that like? Yeah. What did you guys do? Dude, it was so cool man. Like we've been to, we've, we've toured China. This is like our fifth time in China but it was yeah. our second time in the Philippines. Right. And um, it was uh, the first outdoor festival, the first outdoor EDM festival uh -huh. in the history of the Philippines. And we were headlining it with like Afrojack and Dead and Cobra wow. Starship and <laughs> Cedric Gervais and um, Alex Godino. It was so cool, man. Like, you know, flip side, he's Filipino. Exactly. And another guy in the group, Marquis, he's Filipino as well. So to go yeah. back to like their home country yeah. was so cool for them, you know. Um, and the love that they showed, I mean, this is, we're talking about 20,000 people outdoors in Manila where it's like 90 degrees and, you know, 
we're on stage and they have like a big firework intro for us and like it was so cool man it was I can honestly say I'm not Filipino, but I can honestly say that it was probably our best show. It was yeah. it was our biggest show. It was our most energetic show. It was a historic show that we we're happy to be a part of and honored to be a part of. But yeah, we yeah. just got back a couple of days ago. We were in Manila, Hong Kong, Beijing, and um, yeah. So I apologize if I look tired, but uh, <laughs> a lot of miles being flown exactly, these past yeah. couple of days. Yeah, well, uh, Justin, thanks for coming in today. Yeah. Uh, it was great having you here. I'm Michael Froshauer, and uh, thanks for watching the A-List.